Hey everyone, I'm Agabane101, and finally we are doing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim playthrough, but this time we are going to be doing a little bit of a twist. A lot of Let's Plays out there, a lot of commentaries out there do the simple thing of the person plays the game and simply commentates throughout the game. I will be doing that, but on top of that, I went a little bit of uh, job hunting in a way, um, and I found probably the greatest voice actor I have ever listened to, and she is awesome, she knows exactly what to say, and she, she is perfect for what I want her to do, which is, I wrote out journal entries of how the game is going to play out, and she's going to be voice acting for those, and she's going to be playing my character. Uh, basically, she's gonna be the main character of the game that I am playing. Um, so yeah, her name is Jenny Crampel. I hope I'm saying her name right. And uh, all her uh, her name and her website will be in the description. So yeah, she is definitely an awesome voice actor. So if you're like a machinima artist out there, definitely give her an email and uh, see if she's interested in doing voice acting for you as well. If you're ever interested in that, um, or if she's interested in doing your machinima stuff, of course. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. She is a great voice actor. She has nailed it perfectly on the very beginning journal entry, and I hope to be doing a lot of journal entries with her um, and, and just getting her name out there because she deserves it. She is a great, great voice actor. But let's get on into the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I'm going to click on New Game. Now let me know, how, sorry, let me tell you guys exactly how this is going to work. I am playing in the most hardcore of fashions in this game. I will not be playing with any heads up display at all. I do not know what my stamina bar is, I do not know what my health bar is, I definitely don't know what my magic bar is, I don't even have a GPS tracker on the top of my screen. That is going to make the game a little bit more immersive for me, I prefer playing uh, like that myself. There is also not going to be a crosshair so archery will be a little bit more tricky in uh, the times to come. Um, also, uh, there will be subtitles. I, I was thinking about not using subtitles and immersing myself completely, but I know I'm going to be talking a lot while I'm playing the game. So, anyway, without further ado, let's click new game, guys. Elder Scrolls Skyrim is here on my channel. General Entry Number 1, 17th of Last Seed, Mondas, 4E201. Tis was the third day of my travels, for it was the province of Skyrim I was headed. I met many people along the way, hearing out their tales and exciting adventures that they had once gone through. This was a dream of mine, to go places where few have gone before, to adventure, and to tell stories of my great feats. So I made it my goal to head for Skyrim, a land of honor and battle. Mountains as far as the eye can see, and snow falling from the sky, as white as the clouds themselves. The beauty, the hardship, but most importantly, the adventure. Unfortunately for me, the borders to get into Skyrim allows only a few travelers to pass by, and even though mother and father were Nords of the land, they're long gone. And I knew I would have to sneak past the border to get in. The only way of which I would be able to cross the border would be to leave all of my belongings behind me, and move as swiftly as I could to make it across without being spotted by guards. An ambush was waiting on the other side, but not for me. No. It was Stormcloaks the Imperials were after, not I. But they arrested me as if I was one of the Stormcloaks, the Imperials of all people, the guards of which I respected ever since I was a little girl, took me onto their wooden carriage with three other men, and we rode away slowly down the road. My hands were bound, and I feared this may be the end of my days as I was taken to the block. That was when the most magnificent thing appeared before my eyes.
You, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Velod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Dad? Where are they going? We need to go inside them. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Alright guys, I'm back. I was just not talking for that beginning uh, intro scene, but apparently when you remove the HUD, you also remove your uh, subtitles, which I, um... I don't know why they removed them. But anyway, uh, let me just show you guys. There are still the ten races in um, Skyrim, as there were in Morrowind and as there was in uh, Oblivion. But we are going to be in Nord, because that's the character that we are playing in the journal entry story. And uh, this is basically the character we'll be playing for the entire game, and her name will be Alaria. Voiced by Jenny Crumple, because she is freaking amazing at voice acting. All right, uh, let's select that. If it will let me, all oh, right, I have to press left and right trigger. All right, female character, of course. Change her up a little bit. All right, and gotta get the right weight. As you can see, there is a ton of ways to make your character look different and everything like that. But of course, I have a preset way of making my character. I believe 
she had like a scar or something. I don't remember what kind of scar it was when I created the character, but let's take a look here. Did I even pick a scar? I don't think I picked a scar. I really don't. Yeah, I think I didn't pick a scar when I had her, so... Let's assume she doesn't have any scars or war paint. Well, let me show you what the war paint is. So the uh, the character customization has been um, Dragon Ageized, I would believe would be the right word for this. Um, definitely very similar to how Dragon Age has uh, done their ability to change your character and stuff like that. Like you can change your eye shape, eye color, eye height, and everything like that. Um, which is pretty cool. Like, I mean, very, very interesting to see how uh, they changed their slider sh system to be, I guess, more Fallout based than what it was before. Um, and like I said, more uh, based off of how the Dragon Age sliders worked anyway in in that time. So there we go, there's our character and let's just give her the right hair. Alright, wait, there we go. She had black hair. And there we go, there's our character. And then basically you press done, it'll ask you for your name. So you say okay. And it's the Tales of Alaria.